It's not just about having the door open to join the WWE, it's having the door open for women in the Middle East to do anything, anything. You do the work and everything follows. My name is Shadia Pseso, and this is my journey. I didn't grow up doing sports. My sister and I would dress up, dance around and perform and pretend to be superstars. Definitely more of a girly girl than a tomboy. Towards the end of school, I wanted to be on air. I wanted to be a radio presenter. Straight out of university, I got the opportunity to join Virgin Radio Dubai as a presenter. I was starting at the bottom doing the midnight shift, the early morning shift, you name it. My parents have always supported anything I chose to do. But there's always a bit of hesitation because, uh, for example, in 2013, when I started training jiu-jitsu, and I was like, Dad, I started training jiu-jitsu, and soon I'm going to start competing. I can't wait to compete. And he's like, no. Then we never spoke about it. Four years later, I'm still training and competing. And uh, when I won uh, silver at the Abu Dhabi World Pro and then gold in the, one of the Abu Dhabi competitions, I'm like, Dad, I'm on TV competing. And he's like, oh, that's so beautiful. I started doing CrossFit to get in better shape for Jiu-Jitsu. CrossFit combines both strength and conditioning, so you get both. Rope climb, the assault bike, sandbag cleans. My favorite part is lifting. Every now and then I get to do these photo shoots, whether it's for a magazine or online. It's really cool to get all dressed up and be in front of the camera. It's a lot of fun. I love the combination of uh, being able to be, you know, all girly and then just training and I'm so serious about training. There's no makeup, no nonsense. I was invited to uh, cast as a TV presenter uh, for the uh, WWE Arabic show Wal Uha, which is on air on OSN. At the first casting, I was invited to the athletes tryout. I called up my coach right away and I was like, what do you think? And he's like, this is the best thing ever. You have to go for it. You have to give them 100%. Absolutely surreal. Four tough days we did three sessions per day uh, between conditioning and then in the ring and we were coached by the wrestlers you used to watch on TV. It was very tough. Some athletes got disqualified, some athletes couldn't continue, so it started to become real at, at that moment. About a month after the tryouts, I received an email from the WWE team saying, we'd like to hire you, we'd like to work with you. And, it's surreal. I've been signed to a developmental contract and I can't wait to train at the world-class WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. This would be the first stop and one day really in the hopes of becoming the next WWE superstar. To be the first woman from the Middle East to be signed to the WWE is an incredible opportunity and it's a big responsibility. I want to uh, learn how to wrestle and learn the art of wrestling and I would like to become WWE Women's Champion, headline WrestleMania one day. I mean, this is the goal. If you join WWE, this is what you want to do. And I wake up and I like to be inspired, giving everything 150% and having no regrets. For the next generation now and the generations to come, it's not just about uh, having the door open to join the WWE, it's having the door open for women in the Middle East to do anything, anything. You do the work and everything follows. This is it. It's truly the sky's the limit now. My name is Shadia Pseso and this is my journey.